Hey everyone, I'm Armor Gaming. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Pokemon Duel. Cubes, cubes, cubes. What is the point of all these cubes? Green cubes, blue cubes, gold cubes. What's the point of all these cubes? Well, if you don't know, each of these cubes serve their own purpose, so make sure you're using them wisely. The first cube I want to talk about is the green cube. The green cube is going to be used in the fusion area of the game and it's going to be used to increase your Pokemon's chain level. Now in order to actually do that, the rarity of the green cube you use needs to correlate with the level of the Pokemon. For example, if I choose a common Pokemon to level up, you'll notice I can't use my uncommon green cube, but I can use my common green cube. And when I click on the green cube, you'll notice the green bar on the upper right hand side that increased by 1. And if I select another green cube, it goes up by 1 again. So once again, green cubes are used to level up a Pokemon's chain level, and the rarity of the green cube needs to correspond with the rarity of the Pokemon. And for those of you that don't know what increasing a Pokemon's chain level does, basically, when you level up a Pokemon's chain level, you get to increase the damage of either the yellow or the white attack by 1. So let's take Charmander for example. If I was to increase his chain level by 1, I could either make Scratch 11 damage or I could make Flame Tail 41 damage. That's what increasing the chain level does. So make sure to save your green cubes and only use them in the fusion area. Never ever sell your green cubes in shop because you won't get any money for them regardless of their rarity. The next cubes I'm going to talk about are blue cubes, also known as rare metal. Similar to the green cubes, the blue cubes or the rare metal should only be used in the fusion area. And they're pretty straightforward, they're used to increase your Pokemon's experience. And unlike the green cube where the rarity of the cube needs to correspond with the rarity of the Pokemon, with blue cubes that doesn't matter. In fact, the higher the rarity of the blue cube, the more experience your Pokemon will get. And to demonstrate that, a common blue cube will give my Pikachu 500 experience points, whereas an uncommon blue cube will give it 1000 experience points. And if you're wondering what the purpose of leveling up your Pokemon is, let me just give you a quick example. I'm gonna level up my Pokemon to level 2, gonna click on Fusion, keep in mind that does cost coins. And basically, once you level up a Pokemon, you get to increase the probability of one of your attacks landing by 1%, which decreases the chance of miss landing by 1%. So I'm gonna choose to increase my Protect, I'm gonna press OK, gonna press yes and there we go my pokemon is level 2 and now the likelihood of protect landing is 1% greater than it was before it goes without saying that you should only use the blue cubes in the fusion area of the game like the green cubes you never ever want to sell your blue cubes in the shop because they don't give you any money regardless of the level for each blue cube i was to trade in i would only get one coin that's not worth it so then that leaves the gold cubes which are also referred to as ingots and the main purpose of the gold cubes are to be exchanged for coins in the shop this is the only coin you actually want to exchange just check out how much gold i'm getting depending on the rarity the higher the rarity the more gold I'll get. The common will only give me 1800, the uncommon 3500, whereas the EX will give me 35,000. And opposite to green and blue cubes, you never ever want to use the gold cubes in the fusion area. Because just check it out, my EX gold, it only gives my Pokemon one experience. Every single gold cube will only give my Pokemon one experience, which is a complete waste. So gold cubes only in shop, blue and green only in the fusion area of the game. And so that's pretty much all you need to know about cubes in Pokemon Duel. Make sure to use your newfound knowledge wisely. I hope you all really enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have any other questions on the game, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to respond to everyone. With that being said, I'll see you all tomorrow.